Hello, viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell, like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. When I asked from Mr. Jayola, the visitation leader, you see, he told me that it's been long to come to church and then that's why I said I should come and see what is happening for myself. But thank God you are fine and you're okay. It's just that we've been very busy lately, that's mm. why. We're very mm. sorry, sir. It's not, it's not problems. It's not problems. You see, I've been wanting to talk to your husband, but I don't have his number. Excuse me, I heard from Mr. Prosper. Excuse me, please. Ah. It's not picking. You see, my phone, my phone was on silence, you know. <laughs> so, let me try it. Again, again. It is well, it is well. You see, I need to go now. Hmm? Just send me well to your husband, okay? It is well. I will see you some other time. Sir, this is all. Well, he is better now. Doctor, say something. Say something to me. He is better as you can see. But hope you have been giving him his drugs. Yes, doctor. Yes, of course. Of course. Even I don't visit his school during school hour, just to make sure he takes his drugs. Right, that's better. But um, I would strongly advise that you bring him tomorrow morning for admission. Again? Again. Oh my yes. goodness. In, at this stage, he needs to be given proper attention. Wow. Yes. <gasps> but don't worry, he'll be fine. Alright, no he'll problem. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thanks for coming. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Thanks for coming, Doctor. Let me have him. Alright, alright. I'll be expecting you tomorrow. Alright, alright, doctor. We'll visit you at the hospital. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, my doctor. Thanks. Oh, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, my son. Doctor. Pastor Shio. You are here. Good afternoon, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. How is it? Um. Well, I have uh, spoken with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Prosper. Okay. And I've already told them to bring him down to the hospital tomorrow morning for admission. Admission? <laughs> yes, sir. 
Is it up to that? Well, it is, sir. You know, the issue of uh, sickle cell is not uh, something to be taken with elevated hands. So, it requires you admit him, sir. Excuse me. Sickle cell? Yes, sickle cell, sir. Ha! Are you not aware? Didn't your church request for the genotype from them before marriage? As you know, Pastor, we joined the Church of God under your ministry. After his two years' birthday. Uh, even like that. What about the church you were attending before? I mean your wife's prayer church, where you got married. Actually, Pastor, they requested for it. Then what happened? Well, we went for the test. And the result that came out showed us that we were both ears. But we believed that that's one of the plight of the enemies to separate the two of us. After all, we have prayed and we are convinced that we are God's will for each other. And I love that so much. I can't afford to let her go. So since the church refused to join us in holy matrimony, then we went ahead and did the traditional marriage alone. You did what? You mean you left the church be because they refused to join you together? Y yes, ah, sir. Can you listen to yourself? E excuse, can you hear what you are saying? Okay, now, the love you said you have for her has caused her nothing but pain. And the greater pain to this innocent child Lying in pain on this bed. What's wrong with the youth of nowadays? Do you think love is enough to make happy marriage? No! Now, you are AS and she is AS. Both of you know the danger of you getting married. And you still work ahead and do it. Ah uh ah! -uh. Why now? Because it's the will of God for your life, Abby. Okay, let me clear you of something. You need to know the will of God regarding marriage before you venture into it. Otherwise, you might end up choosing wrongly. That's the first thing to know. And secondly, when we Christians talk about the will of God, it's not referring to a particular person whom you probably took a name to a pastor for confirmation. Or the one you received from God in your dream. It is talking about or referring to the group of born again Christians who are truly child of God because that's the only circle that God approved for us where His will can be chosen. I mean, the circle of truly born again children of God. Even in the circle of the born again Christians. Even if the one you have picked doesn't have a, a genotype compatibility, please, please let go. Bro, prosper, you should have let go. Yes, and I am not happy with you at all. I must not deceive you. I am not happy with you. Because of the pain you have caused this innocent child. But daddy, in those days, I don't think our fathers do check anything like genotype or do the necessary test. I don't think they did. Of course they didn't. And that is why the sickler children died in their numerous numbers. Mm. And people will give them any names fitting to it. Like Obanje, Mami Water, and all sorts of names like that. Eh? What do we call this? But Daddy, are you saying God does not choose for someone anymore. Ah, let me tell you something. God is not in the business of choosing for anyone anymore. Since the incident in the in, in the in the book of Genesis chapter 3, where, where Adam blame it on God that is it not the wife you gave to me that caused me to sin? Yes, God is no more God has withdrawn from choosing for any man. And you know what he does these days? He acknowledge, he support your motion, he support your will. 
That is why he said, he who finds a wife has found a good thing. The later part is, and obtain the favor of the Lord. That's the part of God. You found your wife and you married her. Mind you, if God permits you to go on, despite the challenge of genotype, he will never give you a child or any child that will cause you pain. Because the, the blessing of God make it rich and added no sorrow to it. Take note on E. If you are an AS and you find an AS, yes, you can marry. You can marry for the sake of marriage. But do not, I repeat, do not procreate because it will end in tears. Okay, God said I will be with you. I will protect you, I will guide you, and you get to the express. You wanted to cross. Won't you look right or left before you cross? Simply because God said He's protecting you. You have to use your sense. But you have to have for forgiveness. Yes, because the church of God did not allow you, they did not support you doing it. Compatibility matters. No matter how spiritual you are. No matter how, you know, if the fire of the Lord is burning upon you, compatibility with your partner matters. Honey, what have Sweet. we done? What have we done? Anyways, the church will continue praying for you. Thank you, sir. Are you out there, single, getting ready, or you are even planning for wedding? I mean marriage. My question to you is, have you checked your genotype? Have you checked your compatibility with that person? If not, if your answer is no, go and do it now before it's too late so that you will not end up like Mr. and Mrs. Prosper and you will not cause your unborn children a story of pain because love is not enough.